Okay, for each problem, find the general formulas for dy, delta y. I just want to refresh your brain because sometimes all this terminology and notation and calculus can be confusing or overwhelming if you don't feel very fluent with it. Um, so remember, delta y is just the change in the y's. So this distance right here from y2 to y1 is delta y. Another way to think about that is f of x plus delta x. So here's that change right there, right? There's that delta x. So x plus this change, x plus this change, f of that is the same thing as y2, subtract f of x. Well, when you plug x into there, you get y. So this, y1, is the same as saying f of x. So that is y1. So y2 subtract y1 means the same thing as this phrase right here. So I just wanted to kind of refresh your brain because that's what you're going to be doing um, in this video. So another way to write y2, well, I'll get to that in a second. First thing we're going to do is we're going to find the dy dx of this. Ooh, and this is um, a rational, a rational. So one way to write that is negative 2 to the x to the negative 1. Then take the derivative of that. The negative 1 would come down in front, and then you do negative 1, subtract 1. So you'd get positive 2, x to the negative second, and then x squared could be rewritten in the denominator like that. So I don't think I showed the work, so I wanted to show that. Yeah, so dy dx becomes this, and then we're just going to multiply both sides by dx. Ta-da! So there's that. All right, so now the delta y. So we have to, in this formula, in this formula right here, the original, where there's an x, we have to, ooh, we have to plug in delta x, and then we subtract the original. So negative, negative 2 over x plus delta x, Subtract, remember, because this is y2 minus y1, subtract negative 2 over x. Well, they need to have the same denominator, so we're get, going to multiply top and bottom by x, and this side we're going to multiply top and bottom by x plus delta x. And when we do that, using your algebra skills, it will look something like this. This becomes negative 2x. What a negative times negative is positive, and then 2 times x is positive 2x. 2 times delta x is 2 delta x. Well, negative 2x, positive 2x cancel each other. Oh, and in the denominator, now you just have this expression right here. We're going to leave it like that. And then I think I, when I finally simplify, I do the distributive, yeah. So we have 2 delta x over x squared plus x delta x. All right, that's it for this one. Uh, these are the mechanics of finding delta y and dy given a specific uh, function.